Today I'm making a video about scanning outside areas. I will be showing the technique I'm using when I'm scanning this park and afterwards I will be measuring it and comparing it with the measurements in reality. I will be focusing my scan on the grass area over there but I will also show you how it looks like when you scan a pool. So let's see how we go. Starting the scan here. It's a hot day today in Bangkok with some overcast skies and the sun is peeking through every now and then. If it's possible, you should pick a cloudy day to make your 3D scan of an outdoor area. The infrared rays from the sun can interfere with the technology both in the iPad and as you will see later in the laser measurement tool. When I scan an area like this, I try to divide it into section. So this park I will kind of divide into four pieces and scan them piece by piece. First section will be this quarter that we're standing in now. Okay, I'm not focusing very much on the trees because I know from experience that vegetation doesn't very, stick very well on the LiDAR scan. So I'm just gonna focus on the tree trunk and where the tree is placed on the grass. Here is an overview of how I'm moving through the four sections. If you have any feedback or suggestions for how to do this in a better way, then please let me know in the comments. Now I've scanned about half of the park, so the last two sections I'm going to focus on are this, this area here and then closing the circle back where we started. left corner you can see how the interface looks like when you scan with polycam. Those of you who have followed us for some time might recognize it from a video of scanning this park the first time back in 2020. The results of your scan and the output depends a lot on the technique you use when you're scanning. Here I'm making the mistake of scanning the same area twice. You will see more about the effect of this if you stick around to later in this video. Here there is a noticeable drift on the screen, which I can see when I'm finishing up the last pieces of the scan. It's when the mesh in the 3D app is not aligning with the surfaces in the real world. And there we have it, the finished scan. It took 11 minutes to complete, including the short breaks while explaining. Here you can see the final result. You instantly get the version on the left hand side. And after some processing time, you get the LiDAR model textured with images from the camera. Most laser tools doesn't work in daytime. I could not get a measurement more than 15 meters long even with my improvised target. As you will see, this isn't exactly surveyor grade validation of accuracy. There are already great videos out about that. On this channel, we are focusing more on tools that are available to the masses. You can use a myriad of online maps, free and paid, to check measurements on satellite images. Here we're using Google Earth Pro, which is free to download and use like this. In our experience on a global scale, the information on online maps is unreliable. The true data is often scattered across multiple information platforms that works like silos, 
protecting the proprietary or confidential information about land plot sizes and related data. I returned to the park in the evening to see if I could capture more exact measurements. It was obviously much easier to see the red dot and I got readings on the laser tool of over 40 meters long. However, it wasn't so easy to capture these measurements so we have to give or take 10-15 centimeters depending on how and what I actually measured. So here I'm just showing you where I captured the measurements. Next in the video I will be comparing the measurements captured with the laser to the corresponding ones I measured using the ruler feature in Polycam. For the next clip with the comparison I have labeled the measurements from A to F like this. Here we are comparing the laser tool with the iPad scan and showing the difference in centimeters and in percentage. We think this is very impressive for a 10 minute job, but please let me know what you think in the comments. Zooming in on the area I scanned twice, you can see that there is too much of an overlap. As a result there is now two layers of scans of the same area, which isn't aligning perfectly. I'm using Blender to edit out the top layer and the shape of the curvature looks more accurate. In this case, I would scan this area separately if I was to refine the output into a professional grade 3D model. And this is where we come into the picture. We work both direct with customers and with other businesses to create scan to 2D and 3D drawings, SketchUp models and other common formats. Our flexible approach ensures that the final output includes all the spaces and details you require, regardless of the conditions on site. Bridging the gaps that exist in other reality capture and scan to cad solutions today. We believe that every physical building should have a digital copy that's easily accessible to the property owner and used throughout the life cycle of the building to improve documentation and make better informed decisions. Our affordable solutions make 3D models accessible to everyone and every building and renovation project.